Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Abhishek. Today we'll discuss what is Lex tool in compiler design. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I would like to tell you that I have uploaded many lectures in Hindi already. You will get the link in the description. Okay, this is my second channel. I'm uploading videos in English over here. You can check my channel. I have uploaded almost 260 videos on my main channel. I make videos in Hindi on that channel. If you know Hindi, do check that channel, guys. You will get a lot of stuff there, right? So now let's start. What is Lex tool in compiler design? So guys, first of all, we'll see some theory in this video. And then afterwards in the next video, I'll show you some examples also, right? So for the first of all, let us see. So guys, Lex is a tool or a computer program which is used to generate the lexical analyzer. So guys, what is lexical analyzer? It is the first phase of the compiler, right? So it is used with the YACC parser generator. What is YACC tool, guys? We'll see that in the next video. It is called yet another compiler compiler, right? For the time being, let's focus on Lex tool only. Now, what is lexical analyzer, guys? It is the first phase of the compiler which converts the source code, which is any code which we write in normal computer language right in, that is called the high level language into a stream of tokens so it will convert the source code into the stream of tokens right lex was written by guys mike lesk and eric smith whatever you want to call this person right and this was described in 1975 okay so now let us see the main diagram so guys when we talk of the working of the lex tool we'll have three sections right first of all we'll have a lex compiler which is nothing but the lex tool itself will give this lex tool or the lex compiler a input file which is called the lex source program file okay this file will have the dot l extension guys right if the name of your file is file then it will be file dot l okay this extension is a must it will have dot l extension only and this source program will be written in a lex language okay what is the syntax we'll discuss it within few minutes so we'll give the input this file will give input to this lex compiler and then we'll get some output which is called lex.yy.c guys always we will get the lex.yy.c file only so guys this name will always be the same so you just remember it and this will be what this will be a c program file right now this c program file will be given as an input to the c compiler and it will generate a file which is called the a dot out right and what is this a dot out guys this a dot out is nothing but your lexical analyzer itself so this is the lexical analyzer and when we'll give input stream or the high level language to this lexical analyzer what we'll get is we'll get a stream of tokens right so these were the three steps okay we are giving a file as an input to the lex tool or the lex compiler we are getting some file which is a c program file which is called the lex.yy.c and this file we are giving input to the c compiler and we are getting the output as a dot out file which is nothing but the lexical analyzer itself and to this lexical analyzer we are giving some input which is written in a high level language and this is producing what stream of tokens so this was the block diagram guys right and i have written something about the lex compiler also now let's see that it will transform the input patterns which is the code of this file into a transition diagram and generates a code in a file which is called the lex.yy.c okay the name of this file will always be the same i've already told you this thing now guys this lex compiler after analyzing all these things it will generate some transition diagrams so guys this type transition diagram and its uh, corresponding codes will be saved in this particular file right and i have written over here that this lex.yy.c this is a c language file okay i have already told you but i have written here also file.l is a lex source program which is having dot l extension it will always has dot l extension a dot out is your lexical analyzer and guys lex language is used to program in the lex tool right now guys if in your exams you are asked to write this function of the lex or the working of this lex so let us see that also that is just the explanation of these three sections okay i have written over here also now let us see source code is in the lex language which is having the dot l extension right that is this file and this file is given to the lex compiler okay this lex compiler which is nothing but the lex tool and produces the lex.yy.c file which is a c program as the output right this is the scenario i have just written it in english okay for the better understanding now second point is c compiler will run this c code okay c compiler will take this input as lex.yy.c file as input this will be a c code and this will produce an output which is called the lexical analyzer that is the a dot out file okay you can see the diagram and you can refer this now third one is a dot out that is our lexical analyzer transforms an input stream into a sequence of tokens okay we'll give the input stream or we can see the high level language and it will transform it into stream of tokens so this was the working of lex tool or we can call it the function of the lex right now let us see the structure of the lex program or we can see the lex file format right so first of all guys it will have three sections and it will be uh, separated by percentage percentage delimiter okay it will be separated by this sign now 
first section second section and third section and it is separated by these signs right first section will be declaration section or you can also call it the definition section right in this section we will have declaration of the variables or we will have uh, including of the library files like std higher.h and so on right and in the uh, transition rules we will have certain rules right uh, in the form of regular expressions so guys in the next video i'll explain you the example also right it will be in the form pattern and then action we will write the pattern and its corresponding action will be written in the braces okay in these curly braces and then afterward this will be closed this section will be closed these are the two sections and the third section is the auxiliary functions right like we will have main functions and the other functions over here for an example i have written example also guys so guys declaration section or we can say the definition section we will have percentage sign then open curly brace then we will write the files like i am including stdio.h and simply we are declaring a c variable also right and simply we'll close it in the reverse order like if we are starting with percentage sign we'll have percentage first and then afterwards we'll have this close symbol right curly brace and then afterwards this is our declaration part then we'll have this delimiter then we'll write the codes and code will be in the form pattern and then corresponding action will be there and then simply this will be closed and then we'll have some auxiliary functions this will be the main function and so on so guys this was the basic format so that i could explain you better so guys in the next video i'm going to explain you all these programs right i have taken three examples i'll explain you all these three examples so if you like the video please click on the thumbs up button do subscribe to my channel guys and yeah i'll keep on making beautiful stuff for you all and yeah take care goodbye and do comment and tell you are from which place